Hi, today we'll be talking about place value and how it's used um, in addition. So place value is defined as understanding the value of the number, um, a value of the number which is given by the position of the digits. So for example, we've got this number here, 746. So the number 6 actually represents the units. The, num the 40 represents the amount of 10, so 4 tens. And the 7 is in reference to the hundreds. Okay, so one way to perform addition with, um, with using place value is by using these little MAB blocks. So this little one here is to represent the um, units. This block here, as you can see, there's 10 units, so it's a 110. And then this one's 100, and this one's 1,000. Here we've got just a simple addition here for, that students can do. Um, as you can see, they, they're also represented in symbols and also in MAB blocks. So um, the best way to do it initially is to explain it with the MAB block. So as you can see, you've got the, your tens, you've got your four units. So you've got 24 units there, and you've also got and you've got 15 over here. So to add them together, you start off initially with the units. So as you can see, there's one, two, three, four units here, and five units there. So that makes nine units. So you know that there's going to be nine units in the uh, completed equation, six, seven, eight, nine. And you've got one ten, two tens, three tens. So one ten, two ten, three tens. So that gives us an answer of 39. The way that students can do um, addition like this will be with a place value chart to do with your symbols. So we've got 24 and 15, 24 and 15. So um, you've got four units and five units, which makes nine units, and then two and one ten, which makes three tens. So as you can see, we've got the same answer with both the place value chart and with the MAB blocks. With um, units and numbers in place value, ten units make one tenth, as you can see with the MAB blocks, and then ten tenths make a hundred. So sometimes what um, can happen is um, when doing addition that these numbers can overlap. So if you've got more than ten units, it, has, it, it creates into one tenth and um, we have to work from there. This is a common misconception with students who don't understand place value, because sometimes you can end up with, like in this question here, you can turn out with more than 10 units and not knowing that. So here we've got 79 with MAB blocks and symbols, and 36 over here. So um, initially, once again, we're gonna add the units. So as you can see, we've got nine and six. So if we write these out and make it into one, we've got three, um, three four, five, six. So, um, since we've got more than 10 units there, we can create another 10 blocks. So, as you can see, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, that means it's going to leave us with 5 blocks and 1 extra 10 into the equation. And then we've also got the, the, the 30, which we've left over. So, now we bring the 30 in. So, wipe these ones out over here. And So as you can see, we've got quite a lot though. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that's 11 tenths and 6 so units. So this 10 tenths here is now formulated into 100 because 10 tenths equals 100. We've got 1 ten left over and 5 units. Okay, so that gives us a value of 115. So again, we're going to represent this using the symbolic way, which is on a place value chart. So as you can see, once again, we've got the 9 and 6 units, which makes 15 units. So one way to represent that is to put a little 1 here, which so you're representing an extra 10, and then the 5 over here, the 5 units left over. And then with the 10s, we've got a 7 and a 3, which makes 10 units, and that makes 11 units. So um, 10 units, as we know that 10 tens equals 100, we've got a 1 over here, so now we can put the 1 in the 100s column, and we've got 1 10 left over, making 115. Don't make a sound, talk to me